Before visiting Georgetown, Penang, Malaysia, we had no idea what to expect. And what we found is a beautiful mosaic of culture, history, religion, art, food, mm -hmm. city, and nature mixed together in perfect harmony. This is a place you don't want to miss. Subscribe to follow along. Good morning from Georgetown, Penang. Which is the food capital of Malaysia. So obviously, we're going to start our day with a food tour. Let's go. He's super kind. Super kind. So knowledgeable. And really good at speaking English. And so we've nice. already <laughs> learned that this island was colonized by British and that how it was built was similar to Australia, was from convicts that were actually from India because India was also colonized. This specific area. Yeah. It's market and government buildings. Cool. By the way, this is the oldest market here in Georgetown, but it was redone during COVID. That's why it's so beautiful. We recommended the local drink, which is lemon and honey. So we'll see how it is. Everything that we've tried so far in our travels here has been very sweet. And up by Kerry, me, Thailand, down here. Let's see. I think that's all honey at the bottom. So it's actually really good and really refreshing. Is it? Yeah. It's 9 a.m. and it's already really warm out, so this is actually really nice. traditional breakfast here and it's called java mi. We got one that's dry and one that's wet and so we're gonna split them which means soup by the way and we also got it with just rice noodles but usually it's a mix of both noodles but we just got rice noodles so that I can eat it. The rice noodles, sprouts, shrimps, shrimps, uh, shallots, shallots and tofu. Tofu yes and uh, some uh, potato chips. And egg as well. Mm. That's great. So this is like a breakfast, and it sort of tastes a bit breakfasty. It's spicy. It's got a good amount of salt in it, but it's light. I wonder what the soup's gonna be like. I think it tastes a little broth here. Well, it's really nice. It's a, it's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. It had a lot of overly sweet things. No, it's tomato noodles. It's actually a very nice, very nice taste. It's so good. Those noodles were actually super breakfasty. I was surprised. I really like that. Delicious. We are now walking. We turned a corner and we're down this a little empty sadder alleyway. note. This used to be a bazaar, but due to COVID and no income for two years, all the shops had to close. So, so yeah, as we've come across stuff. a lot of this while walking around, and just generally, you can uh, expect to see a lot of closed shops, which is sad. Yeah. that beautiful yellow restaurant right there. The king of Malaysia eats there when he comes and visits Penang. Isn't that neat? Apparently they block off the entire street. It's this whole thing. And we can expect a big queue as well in the afternoon when it opens up. So, something really funny he just said. The uh, history of Georgetown is pretty simple. It can be done in one sentence. In the beginning, there was light. Captain Francis is light. <laughs> because he came here and it was founded in uh, 1786. And it is named, was named Georgetown because at the time, the King of England was a George. <laughs> <laughs> there was of course a fishing village when Captain Francis arrived, but he worked for the East India Company and so he introduced trading to this place and really grew it, obviously. So Devin and I are walking and we're suddenly feeling better because... <laughs> There's trees! A giant beautiful tree in a park and honestly, we love trees so much I just feel at peace. It's I feel just, at peace. You can it's feel amazing. it. Look at this beautiful little park. We 
just learned that the breakfast we had this morning was a Chinese take on Jiao Mi. We are now going to a Michelin star Indian restaurant and then after that we are going to have some traditional Malaysian food to end it off. This food tour has been so cool so far. Just walked into a little India because that's what Penang's all about. It's a mix, a melting pot of all these different cultures which is why there's Chinese take on Malaysian food, an Indian take on Malaysian food, Indian food. It's a mix of everything. It's so much good food. Giant crates are made out of rice flour, so I can eat them, which is awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, these are not. This it tastes like a crepe, and I can eat it. You're supposed it's to amazing. dip it. We're gonna dip it in there. Oh. It's so flavorful, Keith. I did have a bite already. It's true. Devin, unfortunately, can't have these because they're wheat flour, and she's like, "Oh, you're gonna love this." She's jealous. It's excellent. It's like the mix between a crepe and a beaver tail. It's just like greasy goodness. I haven't had real chai tea since Devin made it for me like three years ago and I've been asking her to make it for me since. So here it goes. Mm. Oh, that's so good. How is it? It's so nice. Yeah. Aww. yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We very much enjoy that, but I'm Greasy McGee over here, so I gotta wash my hands because the camera's covered in oils. So they call this street Harmony Street. And that is because it has some of the oldest religious buildings on the island and so many different religions. We just passed Chinese the temple and the oldest Hindu temple. Up here's the oldest mosque. And over there, there was the oldest Anglican church. Just incredible how much culture and heritage and different religions are all in the same area. It is Malaysian tea time, I think. It's coffee. It is sweet. We have to say no sugar here. But not as sweet as mm -hmm. Italian coffee. Mm -hmm. Still incredible and delicious and amazing. But sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we left in a hurry this morning and I did not have time to drink a coffee. So I have a bit of a, a, bit of a headache. <laughs> I'm waking up now. Oh my god, no, it's gluten free. So this is what we call satay. Sweet peanut sauce we got here. We got some, I think zucchini, no cucumber, and onion. And here's a little beef stick, so I'll try beef first. Mmm. Yeah, it's super good. That's really sweet too. Making one as well, peanut sauce. There's a turmeric chicken. What would you like better? Ooh, that's great. I think I like this one more. Mm -hmm. Open it up. Ooh, that looks good. This looks great. Some sort of quasi falafel. So I got the same sauce, my mouth is watering. It's like a sweet peanut sauce. You just gonna eat it like that? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and I got some vegetables. Some potatoes, okay, half an egg, some tofu. Just wrapping up our tour, finishing with desserts now. There is purple rice, I think, with ice cream. And over here we have banana. I'll let you try that one, Doug. But this thing is stellar and refreshing after this serious heat out there. So it looks like it's banana and... Mm. What is it? I don't know. Co coconut? Coconut, Green? maybe? I think coconut. It's really good too. It's not cold, it's like room temperature, but it's really nice. This has been an incredible start to our time here and incredible food, holy moly, wow. And an introduction to Malaysia too. Mm -hmm, like learning so much. Mm. Thank you so much, thank you. Enjoy. That food tour was awesome. Thank it's you, over Ron. now. Thank you very much, Ron. If you want to book it below with Simply Anak, do that right there. And now we are going to do some Keith and Dev exploring, see what else the city's got to offer. This place is much more than we expected. Like right here was planted by the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall in 2017. Isn't that neat? Try and find some street art because apparently there's some cool street art around here. So we spotted some street art. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna head towards the jetties 
the houses on stilts, but we'll always keep an eye out for some of the beautiful artwork that's everywhere. Apparently there's a Lithuanian Banksy that's popular in Malaysia. This is. this is like a real historic town on stilts on the water. This is so neat and as we keep walking it's getting less touristy and we're just alone walking down these crazy cool streets. Already we need a break at this little temple at the end of the jetty. I don't know if you can tell from my hair and my sweaty face <laughs> but it's very hot out here. It's hot and humid and we're not used to that at all. Uh, but it's nice because Canadian there's, bodies are getting there's used to it. actually a breeze over here. And that was so lovely those little houses along the dock. This is it's so cool unique. So this cool. is way cooler than expected and way more history. So all over the city are these beautiful pieces of artwork that explain the history of the specific street you're on. So we've been seeing them all over and it's really awesome. It's a good way to see it because it's also in English, which is like so cool. Beautiful temple. And so peaceful. <laughs> so we can go inside, I think. It is the next day and we've left downtown Georgetown to come to Penang Hill to go to see a lookout. By the way, the funicular track is 1,996 meters. Like, he was just saying that. It's a this is insane. Day. And the sun is shining right on Georgetown, right below us. We are so high up. This is insane. Birds chirping, beautiful music playing. There are some people here, because obviously this is a touristy thing, but it's Not so as many as I thought, it, to be honest. Wow. Oh man, this is beautiful. Day. A mosque and a temple right next to each other and a little playground in the middle, right at the top of this gorgeous hill. Yeah, like, speak of harmony that we were talking about, huh? We originally were just going to go for a walk around the top of the hill then saw hikers coming up, so decided to try and hike all the way down. Fingers crossed this works out! Down we go! We're 
really in it now. This is the jungle in Malaysia. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Do you hear all those sounds? Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's the right trail. Keith got himself a walking stick to ward off predators and I think it makes him walk faster. Look at that! We're above the city. It's insane. I, I feel like we're we're in the sky. We are. And now there's a crossroads. Which way do you think? I say we follow the steps. You think? I don't know. I think we're at Middle Station. There's the funicular going by. And we got the Heritage Trail, which is how we get to the bottom. Right so on. We're like halfway. We made it down the hill, and we are in a place we came to yesterday for dinner because this area has the best food in Malaysia but different kinds of foods. So we're actually at a Pakistani restaurant and we were here last night and it was so good. We wanted to show you guys and we wanted to eat it, it again. So we have to decide what we want to eat. Also, that hike was like super worth it. I'm very happy we did that. That rejuvenated us. It is a beautiful view. Penang Hill is a must. We ordered our food and I'm so hungry, oh my gosh. And we ordered a lot, so Yeah, we ordered excited. tons. Pakistani food is so good. Oh, I'm excited. It's also cool we can order that here. So diverse. I actually remember the name of this guy, the eggplant. Help me out. This is chana masala, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we got tandoori birani, cheesy naan. That's for me. I'm so stoked. And then a chicken curry coming in as well. It's very exciting. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Can is it good? Mm -hmm. Tandoori chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You're so flavorful. An eggplant. I've never been a fan of eggplant until we had it in Greece and Turkey. And this one too. Oh! Mm -hmm. So good! Mm -hmm. We got another dish and it looks amazing. We're like really almost done with our other stuff. We're like just mucking it up. Mm. Yeah. Like this is so good. Wow. It is understandable why this is the food capital of Malaysia. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've eaten so well. And thank you very much, Simply Anak, for the fantastic food tour yesterday. We learned a ton and we had delicious food. It was amazing. This city blew away our expectations. Definitely stop here if you're coming to Malaysia. And 100%. Penang Hill, what the heck? That was so beautiful. It's a jungle. It's so cool. Building. Amazing views. So we really hope you enjoyed our video and we'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Oh, you're sweaty. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at Devin's face. Look how sweaty she is. Hiking with Devin. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're we're, hungry. We're both very hungry, so the fact that we've been being kind to the camera and not getting grumpy at each other is huge. Hey, Dove. I'm really happy about it, that with Did us. someone leave you out in the rain? You're covered in rust. You got spots all over your face. Huh. I think I'm getting to that ripe age, folks. That guy cutting grass in the back there. It's a soothing sound. Oh my goodness. First it's dad jokes, then it's enjoying cutting grass. <laughs>